Welcome to M2 Hockey and HockeyShare.com. Today's skill video is brought to you by Cool Sports. Today we're going to go over the fundamental techniques of a basic wrist shot from a stationary position. It's wrist shot, one of the most fundamental skills you can learn, one of the most untaught skills. Okay, first thing we want to do is we want to start nice and easy. I'm going to be facing actually perpendicular to the net when I start with my basic wrist shot uh, just for demo purposes here and this is how every kid should actually begin to learn the phase of shooting the full shot. So we're going to start off nice and low in our hockey stance. Two hands on our stick, we want to have our hands just about shoulder width apart. Okay, not much lower, you don't want them real close, you'll lose some leverage. Right about shoulder width is a good, uh, good distance. We're going to bring the puck into our stance, we want to make sure that the stick blade is flat on the ice. And if any of you guys read uh, Scooter's Corner from, our, uh, from the Hockey Share blog a couple months ago, he talked about stick lie, this is where it's super important. Stick shouldn't be heel up in the up in the air, shouldn't be toe down. Okay, should be nice and flat on the ice. So you got to make sure you have a proper stick. All right, we're going to start the puck. Blades flat on the ice. We're going to bring it back behind our body. So we're basically what we're doing here is we're loading up our weight off that back leg. Our legs are where we're going to generate all our power from. So we're going to bring that puck back. We want the puck to be on the heel of our stick blade. What that allows us to do is it allows us to use the curve of our stick to actually spin the puck and throw it to the net. So we brought the puck back. Once we're here, we want to make sure we're looking at our target. Okay, if you're not looking, you're not going to hit the net. Chances are, wherever you're looking is where the puck's going to go. So the first thing, after you're loaded, bringing all the weight back here, look to the net. Okay, from here, all my weight has now transferred to this back leg. I've got the, the puck's behind my back leg, it's behind my body, my head's up. I'm going to push with this leg towards the net. I'm going to open up with my hips and get my skate going to the net, and I'm gonna bring my stick across, follow through, roll the wrist over, pointing to the spot that I want it to go. So I'm gonna bring it back, load up, I'm gonna push, and follow through right where I want the puck to go. While you're learning this, have the players actually skate forward, just like I just showed you here, skate forward straight at that net. So it's back, load up, push, right in, hold the follow through. By making them hold the follow through, you're gonna see exactly where they aimed. Okay, a lot of times kids will do this, they'll do a half follow through, all right, real weak, stick blade's not closed. You wanna roll that wrist so it's all the way over. Good way to practice the wrist roll and to explain it to them is that that puck doesn't leave the heel of your blade, pushing it from back here, it's still on the heel, still on the heel. Once it hits your front foot, essentially what you're doing with this puck is you're picking it up and you're throwing it with nothing more than your wrists. So you can have them practice, put the puck on the front foot, don't let them bring the stick back at all, go from here, but just roll the wrist and flick the puck to the net. That lets them exaggerate that wrist roll and get the feel for it. So again, we're here, bringing the puck back, puck's on our heel, push that puck in a straight line forward, look to the net, hold your follow through, right where you want that puck to go. All right, that's the basic technique for a wrist shot. Stay tuned, next week we'll go over the basic technique for a slap shot. See you next time at M2Hockey and HockeyShare.com.